Welcome to another version or moment or look at Cindy, she's already losing it. So welcome, I'm John Motormouth Luciano and we, uh, time for a podcast. Imagine that, right? We don't do very many of them, so we might as well have some fun. As most of you know, we've talked about it plenty in the past of growing up in El Paso, Texas. In El Paso, Texas, the main tradition, and I grew up on it all the way from eating it as a kid to the best hangover food you could ever have at three in the morning coming back from Juarez. Great stuff. Chico's Tacos, an El Paso tradition. And there's nothing else like it anywhere. So our good friends, Yoli and Russell and Melody and, say it again? Crimson. Crimson, Crim, I keep wanting to say Crim. Crimson, we'll show you them in a minute. They brought us from El Paso, Texas, true and legit Chico's Tacos. Cindy <laughs> gets to be our first taste test. And as you guys know, you either love Chico's Tacos, or as my wife Kat would say, and I think it was said, what did you, what was your description? Drinking a taco? Okay, she, that's how she looks at it. I don't see it that way. You ready? Okay. Then, I should wait till your mouth is full, but <laughs> then you have to tell us the first time you had a tamale. It's oh, a great story. So you guys are gonna enjoy time. that. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that have had the same thing. So just take a big okay. bite, tell me what you think. That was a big bite. She's a two bite taco girl. How about that? Well, good, that bad. That's good. The sauce is good, huh? Yes. Yep. And you just let it soak. It's better than a churro. <laughs> yeah, no cinnamon, no cinnamon on these, so I don't think. I haven't tried that. Those are, if you're from Chico's, you could write back to us and let us know if you've ever served them with cinnamon. Mm. So it's got a whole new twist to it. So. Okay, so now that your mouth's full and it's hard to talk, tell us about your first time eating a tamale. Okay, well, I'm from the Midwest. Kansas. In Kansas. So Mexican food was not like a big run. We were meat and potato people. So my friend calls me up one day and she says, hey, my husband made some uh, burritos and some tamales. You want some for lunch? And I said, yeah, sure. And he's an excellent cook. So she brings him in. I put it in the microwave, my tamale, and I'm eating it. So I pull it out and I cut it open, take a bite of it. My coworker comes back and says, isn't this really good? And I'm like, uh, yeah, no, it's not. It's too tough. I don't understand what the problem is. It's like, he is a really good cook and this really is bad. And she looks at my plate, she looks at me and starts laughing and she says, you have to take the husk off of it. That's right. <laughs> In Spanish, what is the husk called? Look at my good Spaniards and, and people that were, huh? Oja. 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 It's oja. Okay. So oja yeah. was not good to you. No. I'm used to eating tamales in a can, okay? okay. Well, so that's... <laughs> but the good part of that is you had your fiber intake for the day. That's right. So you were well fibered up. Okay. You can have another bite. Oh, I can? Do you okay. want to try it with the chili this time? No, 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 not with that hot stuff. <laughs> is it really hot? No, it's just great flavor. Hang on, let's see if I can, I'm just trying to tear my mic off. Hold on, I'm off camera here for a minute. I'm back. So here we go. Just dunk, just in the tip of it. Just, you can do it with your taco. But I already ate off the taco. That's okay. <laughs> we're, the, we're from Kansas, like you said, we're rednecks. Okay, there's always double dipping in Kansas. I know <laughs> that has a whole other meaning where you come from, but it's okay, we're gonna go with it, all right? Okay. Okay. Okay, that's what. <laughs> it's good? Yeah, swallow. <laughs> water. Water. Do we have a water boy here, here, anywhere? Okay, okay, that's some hot green. That's really hot green That's stuff. green. That's green chili. Oh, my yeah, god. This other stuff you guys eat around here, I'm not sure what it is. It's, mm. I think that's tire patches from the shop. <laughs> but it ain't, that's green chili. That's the best it gets right there. That's, that's good, but it's very hot. It's not. <laughs> Look at the color it put in your Look what you could save in makeup. <laughs> Just, just alone, if you just ate a I spoonful of that, you got some good red color. Nice natural blush there. <laughs> so would you eat Chico's again? Yeah, I would. Absolutely. There I, we go. I have my doubts, but Okay, I would. so on our board back here, you can see Chico's one, Kansas one, Amarillo zero. So that's <laughs> got a three-way game going here. Cindy, go. thanks for being such a great sport. <laughs> You're welcome. Appreciate it. Thanks we'll be back me. in a minute with our next, uh, well, victim. Well, contestant or something along those lines. John, I'll be with you in just a second. We are back, and I have two more, uh, don't forget the last one, we call them victims. But we have two more contestants, <laughs> as we stated. So we're back still taste testing Chico's Tacos in Amarillo, Texas. In El Paso, it's probably Chico's. But here it would be Chico's Tacos, right? Let's say it right. So you're eating it wrong, first. Right, you stick your fork in the end of it. Okay. 
like that, and you pick it up like that way. You can use your fingers. This is just this. Okay? Do you want the green? Do you want to try the green sauce? Uh, maybe after yeah, my first Okay, bite. try the first bite. Here we go. First bite's in? Yeah. All right. The green yoli and I, we've probably had a million of these in our lifetime. So, yeah, and, and the kids are coming right by. We're, we're, we're double dipping today, so don't worry about doing it. Yeah. So if you're, uh, if you're watching us from the food, is it the food police? What are people called? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're doing all the things wrong. Daniel, what do you think? Good. It is good. See, good. cat, I told you. Somebody get, where's, where's cat? Somebody bring cat in here. Look at you pouring the sauce. You're getting the juice ready. So the true test is whether you just you drink the end of it. That's when you're really a true Chico flavor. Here we go. I told you it was that. We're going to film. There we go. Yeah, you, big Dan's a little bigger. He got a double taco over here. But you're going to need another one? Uh, I'll take one. I don't want to. <laughs> All right, so do you feel like you drank a taco or did you eat a taco? Oh, I, I've made a drink taco. Yeah, it was delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of the best ones I've had. That is a, the, the sauce is something else. That's, that's uh, excellent. Okay. We, don't ask us what the meat is because no one knows what the meat is. That's okay. Uh, those who say they don't like cat, they're probably prepared. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'll work. That ought to go over well. All right, Daniel, mm -hmm. the second one's going down. So we're, we're okay with it. Okay. So yeah, I think good. that makes it five to zero. We're still doing well. All right. We'll be right back with you. We're going to have to get two more pieces. I'm going to try some of the green. Okay. Wait, well, hang on. See what you think. This is real salt. Salsa verde, right? Is it calling that right? Oh, boy. He's got it good in stuff. I like it. There we go. Dan, uh, Dan doesn't miss many meals either. So we definitely have the two right guys. Have you cleaned out the ice box today? Uh, my watch is about to drop off my watch right now. Oh, so you've, been, you've been a good boy today. Yeah, it's going to be today. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you, you do a good job helping me keep the ice box. Yeah. You know, yeah. on it, don't expect it to be in the That's <laughs> exactly right. We talked about that. There's, there's a Sharpie. If you don't want to put your name on it, then you must have meant for it to be open. Yeah. Here we go. Sauce yeah. down. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. You can now tell people you've had true, one and only, authentic Chico Sacks. It's a good reason to go to El Paso. It's a good reason to go to El Paso. Got a thumbs up? Two thumbs up? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Yeah. Zach, Dan, thank you guys. We appreciate yeah. that. All right. All right. We found a few more victims to talk to and try to put this thing together. Once again, we're back in our Amarillo taste test of Chico Sacks. That is a taco. We have Julio. Julio, where are you from? Uh, I'm here from Amarillo, but uh, moved here from Mexico when I was very, very, very little. Which part of Mexico? Uh, Juarez. Wow. Yeah. Wait. Right here, look. All of us. There we go. We, we all grew up in El Paso. Oh, okay, awesome. So spent a lot of time in Juarez, no awesome, question. Awesome, awesome. Lamb, um, you don't look like you're from Juarez. No. <laughs> where are you from? from originally from Laos. I was born and raised in Laos. You've been here a little while, though. I've been here for over. Put Laos, we'll put the map back up here in the back here. We've got lots of things to put up on here. So, yeah. what we're having today is a taco. And these are known as Chico tacos. Okay? And you want salsa to begin or you want to try it in its own flavor first? Let's do a, let's do a like this first. Pick it up. Oh, we got compete? No! <laughs> I like it. Okay. <laughs> no, take a bite first and we'll uh, we want to know what you think about it. That's pretty good. This is from a guy that eats crickets. I'm telling you, okay. If he says it's good, right? Good. Okay, now try this. Just dunk it. Dunk away. Come on. Oh, no. Pour it in, even better, because you're going to drink the sauce at the end. So. Oh, that's perfect. He's, he's, he's a good color combo here. Looks like Christmas in his bowl. We got all the red and green going. <laughs> My studio audience says, we'll have to put in the laughter because they, they don't seem to know this. You can laugh. You can see. <laughs> this is all very. Okay. Salsa? Good. Uh -huh, good. The people that own this restaurant are actually from Juarez, so you better say nice things they're from other country. <laughs> He's dunking away now. Okay? All right. And the trick is you drink you drink the sauce at the end. That oh. is the final deal. Really? really? Or would you just want another taco? I got hot ones. Do you want to throw one in? You're good? What'd you have? Um, what, kind of, what kind of fish? Just fish? No, no sticky rice? Right? No, now is it you, you, who makes the beef, it's not beef jerky, what is it? Beef jerky. Yeah. yeah. It's phenomenal. We'll have to do it, just a podcast on this particular.
teriyaki beef. Is it teriyaki? No, what is the sauce? Yeah, it's the tomato sauce. Yeah, oh my god. It is so, so good. Mr. Street, you're next. We're gonna, you're gonna have to have a Chico's <laughs> taco. All right, Julio, what you think? It's good, it's really good. That sauce got a little bit of a kick to it. The, red, the green sauce? Yeah, the green, sauce, the green sauce. That's awesome. I'm glad to hear this. Yeah. Okay, so you give it a thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs Two up. thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Okay, seven to zero. So I'm telling you, Kat, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's, it's seven yes and zero for you. So this is delicious stuff. Okay, all right, we'll be back. All right, we're back, continuing with our Chico's tacos. And I have two of my favorite Chico's <laughs> right here in the room. Pepito one, Pepito two, yes, right. Pepito one and Pepito two. We have David Ortiz. What's your name, sir? Gregory? One. One. <laughs> All right. He's pointing at his shirt. He's a little quiet. This is Leroy. Leroy is our master tech. I want to congratulate him again on that. It's a very, very big achievement. Russell will tell you what it takes to make it all the way to top master. That is some serious work. We did a nice video about that time. So this is Chico Saco, straight from El Paso, brought in fresh. Got here at 4 in the morning. That's how good I wanted it to be. So take a bite with it straight, and we're going to try it with some Take a bite. Pick it up. Take a bite. David does not like my We're going to see. He makes me eat his father's recipe too all the time. He doesn't like it, but I have to eat it all the time. No? Uh-oh. Cat may have her first ally. <laughs> but Cat doesn't like it either. What do you think? Okay, now here. Dunk it in here. Now try Dunk, dunk. Just stick your taco in there. Come on, baby. Everybody, this is, this is Kansas. Yeah. This is Amarillo. Now try it. You're, David, you're going to like it a lot better. Kind of. Pour it on there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. You like it with the chili better? Okay. No. <laughs> like it for real? Wow. I don't like it. He doesn't like that. <laughs> it's true. It's very true. It's very true. It's true. Give me your ball. I'll finish it. I think I don't want to drink it. Huh? You don't want to drink it. You just kiss me off it. You okay? Tell me where you're from. Born and raised in Amarillo, Texas. Perfect, Texas. Like, is there ever cows in Texas? Well, we're, hope, we're, hoping, we're hoping that's where the meat came from. Perfect, Texas. We'll go with that. So you give it a no. No, no napkin. The rest of us, it's so good. We lick our fingers and <laughs> taste it. Somebody can just throw, just throw the whole bowl at you. There you go. All right. No, I guarantee you, now Mel would be fun, because Mel would be seven. You're good with it? <laughs> Dave is running out of here. Okay, so you're giving it an L. Give it a yes or no. Your country would be so embarrassed of you. I want you to know that. Your dad is He is pouting in his tortilla right now. He is wiping his eyes. One corn, one flower. Right now. There we go. Another drinker. That's how good it is. Good. Good. All right. Thanks, buddy. Now go fix my car with you. What car are you at? Well, we got two more. Okay. See you in a minute. We're back rolling again. So from behind the scenes, we picked on our cameraman who was back there. I think he was trying to avoid doing this because I believe he's another one that's not big on Mexico. No. And You're I kind of a steak and potatoes guy. I'm Asian food. Yeah. So where, where would you pick up a liking to Asian food? Um, oh, that's right. You are Jiggly Pie. Yeah. I forgot your real name. <laughs> Chris Jiggly Pie. Right. Hopefully on the screen here we can have a Jiggly Pie. We'll see. We'll see? We'll see. I would like to see a jiggly pop up there. Okay. Okay. All right. There goes the, the famous buzzer telling us that more Chico's tacos are ready. The bite is in. And we'll see what you think. You just pretend it's an egg roll. <laughs> no. Uh-oh. We have a second no? Yeah. Good. More. Please um. finish. 
Wait a minute, are you still thinking it's about it? Like, hey, you eat those funny looking wontons that have that stuff on the inside of them. Don't you be, don't you be going with that. Are those wontons? Real like close? No. Dude, there's it's ground beef. Okay. Sure. <laughs> it's ground stuff. Read the disclaimer at the beginning. Okay. Or at the end. We'll see it with the hub. Okay. You'll like it with the hub. All right. We have two more lovely people to come in and tell us about driving in all the way. They stayed up till four in the morning to bring this Chico talk to us. That's how good. That's how good a friend they are. So we'll be right back to talk to the girls. Well, is it like a sideways thumb? Thumb down? Thumb up? Thumb? With the hot sauce, it's it's in the middle. It's in the middle, but to drink the bowl. Yeah, this, make sure you put a picture of you up there eating that freaking fruitcake, okay? <laughs> yeah, and then you tell me. Yeah, because well, I remember what happened the after cake. the fruitcake eating contest, right? Uh, yeah, that yeah. wasn't good. Yeah, because only one part of your all. body, and it was not your good side, was showing. Because oh. the other part was bent over the trash can. Yeah, Look, yeah, I can make your stomach do talking about it. We had a fruitcake eating contest, and it almost killed all of us. We had to do it. Oh, these, they were just mad. They, they were like $1 fruitcakes from Walmart. It was bad. And we did it with our hands behind our back and had to smash our faces into them. But he never, it's on there. It's one of the videos. Go watch it. He never looked over to see that we had stopped along before. We had conceded and made him the winner after about three months. I was too he committed. I was like, I got to win. And uh, after about, <laughs> I was about 20 bites in, like, it's just so heavy. It felt like you were about to just have a heart attack. I don't know. <laughs> it was. It was. It was. There was like it's like You'll this. Laugh the worst. It's got. It's, it's, I know there's probably a lot of people out there in our world that like fruit cake, but th there's no such thing as green. Like whatever that green, like the sugar that's inside that here, because that's what it was. We were doing okay till we ate the green, and then boy, it got tough. Okay, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Well, we're back. We have, I have my two lovely assistants to help us today. They've been doing the cooking, so we thought it'd be nice for them to help. But not only did they do the cooking, tell us how this Chico's Tacos got here. Well, we went to the Chico's Tacos and we ordered some tacos. And, and, and what time did you get here? Four in the morning. And what were y'all doing to stay awake to get here? Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I wasn't See that thing right there? That's a camera. You have to always tell the truth when you're on camera. Okay. What? Now, what were y'all doing coming up here? Okay. Well. I think the word instant, like instant pudding or something, is involved. In like Instagram. Yeah. Okay. Like Snapchat. I would agree. Snapchat. She was sleeping was on sleeping. me. Pretty much the whole car. Really? So, at, <laughs> at that time of the morning. Who is on Snapchat <laughs> Actually, and Instagram? There was a lot of people, a lot more than you would think. There's like people stay up too many, 6 a.m. We do we do a lot of work with our digital teams and Dave and I just get back to different things. They're some of the prime time for Facebook and Instagram and all of them is 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. <laughs> it's really crazy. That is when it's live and that's when it's hot. I guess that's when it's real. And that's when it's real. Oh my gosh. Somebody asked me out in all over Snapchat on our that's terrible. It was terrible. Some 60-year-old guy expected. <laughs> you can't tell, right? <laughs> Do you, teach, okay, so let's, this is a good one here. Teach me a little bit real quick. How, can you talk to anybody on Instagram, or do you? is it like Facebook where you friend people? Well, like, yeah, so Instagram, you, like, follow each other, and then there's something called DM. It's a direct message, and then you just message back. Not, not dirty old man. <laughs> That's not what DM stands for. Okay. <laughs> So you can decide whether to talk to them or not. Yeah, you don't have it's to. your choice. You can even block them. And do you think the profile they send of who they are, or do you think those are real? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you, you like know the people. That's why I only let people I know. Like, okay. Oh. So you can't block people if you do. Now, Instagram, you, how many words can you put in Instagram? Is it unlimited? No? Two six. Oh, wow. I knew wow. somebody would know. Awesome. And how many pictures? I know. In the beginning, you couldn't do pictures, right? Or was it just pictures? I, I'm old, so I don't know. The, I'm guessing. Now, do you have like an Instagram name? Like you have a Facebook name? I mean, you, you know, you have 
Twinkle Toes at <laughs> City <laughs> Fun. Top, you know, I mean. Twinkle Toes 23 underscore zero. That's yours? No. Okay. No. So anybody that wants to do it, you, you can. <laughs> twinkle Toes 20. What was it? 63? No. 23? What was it? Oh, that's not yours? No. You look good with red in your face, though. Just want you to know that. So. Crimson. Crimson, Crimson. It's coming perfectly. That's very Everybody calls me red. Okay. So do you have an Instagram name? Yeah. It's just my name. <laughs> wow. I, my, I used to have. Stepped right out there, didn't you? I used to have Crimmy Crim Bob because that's what my sister used to call Crim me. Crimmy Crim Bob? Crimmy Crim Bob. It was, but I changed it because. God, I know that one got some weird people <laughs> trying to talk to you. Yeah, absolutely. And what is yours? Mine's Maria. That's good. You stay a little more anonymous. You, know, you can't really hide from me. Yeah. Hey, well, that's not my name. If I become famous. I don't want anybody no, no, to see no. my YouTube When, name. when I become famous. When I become famous. I don't want anybody to see my YouTube This is what we teach in this room, right? We think positive. Every it's all day. All about what you will be. Every day. Yeah, this is that's exactly. Ten minutes. Every day means every day. Oh, I thought it was EDM. Huh? Like EDM? <laughs> Okay. It's, it's my rap name, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Yo, this is Ed Med. What's up? What's up? Yo, to you. Whatever. Yeah. However you. However, I'll make a chico. Throw me a taco. That'll be my. That'll be my gang sign. A chico taco will be my gang sign. Yeah, exactly. All right, here we go. So you've had this before. Oh, I'll, you brought it with us. I'll okay. So here's my gang sign. What's up? What's up? Taco to me, baby. Okay. Mine will be a fork. Okay, fork. <laughs> Very good. Yours is a staple. So oh. anyway. Okay. All right. Let's see. What's your technique? That was a great. Some people pick it up with their fingers. Some try to eat it with a fork. Cut it with a knife. What is the technique? We're ready. Go. I just kind of. Yeah, no, that's not. Gonna work. <laughs> You're gonna stab it. I like carry it like with the fork in halfway, half out, and you get it everywhere. She's, ar yeah. she's already done eating. She's still getting her first. <laughs> one. She's getting her first one on the fork. So, all right. Good. Good. Okay, so I believe it was nine to two. I think that was the score. Thanks, thanks, Jiggly. Good job. So make sure my scoreboard's up here. Green Bay Packers. You know, you know what? You know what? I don't know what you're doing. I know this is so good. Yeah, I know. She hears that a lot, but that's usually just where they find out she's married to me. So, but it's understandable at that point. Okay. All right. Well, we're so glad you guys are here, and you're going to go see some fun things around Amarillo here for a minute. And then we're going to meet back to go play in the lake. Okay. So, sounds like fun? Yeah. Okay. So, Mom and Dad over there, they still haven't eaten, so you'll just kind of take your time. And they, got to, <laughs> they got to sit over there and be hungry, and we'll just kind of keep talking. Once again, Amarillo, Panhandle, and all of the U.S., this is John Motormouth Luciano, and we thank you so much for joining us. You know how much we love you, and we love our community, and, and we thank you for all the things that you do for us. And we know that without you, our customers and our friends, we have no dealership, and so we're here to serve you. And that is what it's all about. And we can't thank you enough to be able to, to live and have the fun and do the things that we get to do and enjoy our time with these kids and just enjoy life and get to, get to sell fun cars and do things that we enjoy doing, right? How's it fun? Oh, good. 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10? Okay, we're going to 11. They're, they're, I guess their votes count twice. 12 out of 10. Third free. Okay, good. I like that. Okay. Well, that's it. They're getting a, a vote for taco. Okay, well then it's about 19 because I get my eight tacos that I've had. So, thanks guys for watching. We appreciate it. Come see us anytime. Love you. Bye. This is the stuff right here. This is the good stuff. Handmade, imported from El Paso, Texas, like right out of Mexico. Chico's Tacos. Okay, got to melt the cheese. Okay. Uh, the aftermath is just too much. It tastes so good. Oh, no,